In this video, we'll write the equation for K3PO4 plus H2O, potassium phosphate plus water. So potassium phosphate, we have a metal and a group of nonmetals here. It's an ionic compound, so it'll be a solid water that is a liquid. The question is, when we put the solid K3PO4 in the water, does it dissolve? So we can look at the solubility rules here to help us with that. And the first rule says group one elements. They are soluble. Potassium is in group one. So we know it's going to dissolve when we put it in water. It'll split apart into its ions. Let's look at the periodic table quickly here and see potassium, which is in group one right here. So it'll have a one plus ionic charge. We'll just write plus. So each one of these has a one plus ionic charge. Phosphate, this is a polyatomic ion. It's a really good one to remember. The whole thing has a three minus ionic charge. So we know the charge on each of these ions that's going to dissolve and split apart in the water. To write the equation, we have K plus, which will be aqueous. And this subscript here, the three, that means we have three of these potassium ions, three separate potassium ions dissolved in water. We also have our phosphate ion, which is dissolved in water as well. So we write aqueous. And this is the equation for K3PO4 plus H2O. You put the potassium phosphate in the water, it dissolves because it's soluble, breaks apart into its ions. Some people put the H2O up here above the arrow. That's okay, I prefer it to be down here. And because we wrote AQ on this side of the equation, we're saying it's dissolved in water. So you really don't need to write water again on this side. This is Dr. B with the equation for potassium phosphate plus water. Thanks for watching.